Hello everyone, welcome back to our dynamic coding series. Today we are diving into utility tool many professionals will appreciate an XML viewer. With React as our foundation and Tailwind CSS for an intuitive interface, we are setting out to craft a tool that presents XML files in a clean, readable format. But the real star of the show is ChatGPT. We will be leaning on its code recommendations following its lead throughout the session. As we piece together this viewer, we will aim to elucidate the code as we go. Plus, with the added capability of code of chat gpt vision we can provide real time feedback and even allow chat gpt to evaluate and refine its outputs it promises to be genuine blend of ai driven development and collaborative feedback let's roll up our sleeves and get started so my react js application is already uh, created with the basic code that has nothing else than the div tag and it has a tailwind css configured and it is currently running in the browser so i already have written this prompt that i am going to execute so as you can see it says create uh, xml viewer display xml files in a readable format and here i have mentioned that provide the completed code without missing any skipping uh, skipping anything the ui should be very attractive modern visually appealing it should good enough and rich in features to be deployed on the production also another thing i want to mention that make sure to use react and tailwind css so let's try what it does okay to create xml viewer using react tailwind css we will first set up new react using create app and then install tailwind css finally build our xml viewer okay so i already have done this part as our tailwind css is already configured so we don't need to follow those steps but main part is starting from here so build the XML viewer inside the source directory, create a new folder called components and inside it create a new file name XML viewer. This component will handle the XML parsing and displaying the XML viewer. So let's try it. Create a new folder components and let me add a new file XML viewer.js. And then once this code is completed, I will copy paste it. Okay, let me copy it. All right, now we need to update the app.js file as well based on the code that it is going to provide us. So let's click on the copy and replace everyone here. Okay, now let's go back to the browser and see what we have. Okay, this is what we have that we can test so let me get a sample xml file uh, this is too short so let me get a big one okay let's try this one i will paste it here format okay this is what i can see so I can take a screenshot and show it to the chat GPT what it has made and then we will get its feedback that what are the shortcomings and what are the improvements are needed in this. This is the demo of what you have made. Tell me what's wrong and what needs to be improved. Okay, it is saying that uh, the provided demo appears to be a screenshot of XML uh, viewer implementation. Here is the evaluation based on the visual. 
lack of styling and the on the text area and button the xml input text area and the format xml button look plain and would be benefit from more padding and clearer border and perhaps a suitable background color redundant message the message this as uh, this xml file does not appear to have a style uh, okay the documentary is shown below I think the only issue that I can see is that it is not looking great. So let me tell it to chat GPT. You may use any NPM library as well if needed. Okay, to give the XML viewer a modern and attractive design, we can utilize additional NPM libraries such as React XML viewer. For more interactive XML display and further enhance the UI with the Tailwind CSS, let's improve the XML viewer. So, first of all, let's install this library. Open new terminal and press enter. Okay, enhance the XML viewer component. So, in the XML viewer.js, it is going to be very simple and short, I guess. So, Okay, let's uh, replace our old code with this new one and we need to update the app.js file as well. Okay, let's copy this code and test it again. So this time it is much better than before and let me copy the XML file that I want to use. All right, now it looks way better than before. It is looking very attractive and easy to read for any user. So, I think that's all. Now let's uh, quickly take a look at our code to understand what it did with this. So first of all, in the app.js file, we are importing the component XML viewer and we are using it here. Other than that, we have some Tailwind CSS classes, H screen for the full height or that is equal to the height of the screen. And we are using other style like gradient as well. And we have a heading and then let's dive into the XML viewer component. So we have a function that is using, uh, that is returning uh, a component XML viewer that is being imported from the React XML viewer. And we are feeding it with the XML code that is coming from the payload or parameter. 
and then this is the main component that is being ex exported from this file as the default component and in this component we have two states one is input and second one is output and handle xml change so this is a function that will handle the change of the xml so whenever somebody types or paste some code in the text area it will call this function and it will update the state of the xml input and then this is a function that will handle the submit event so we are updating the output whenever this happens so we will get the xml input and we will set the output so and here we have the text area that is uh, that will allow user to add the xml and this is a value dynamic value and this is the event that we have registered on change and this is a button that will uh, submit it and it will then format the xml so we are checking that if there is an output then use that output uh, in the xml display component that we made here and we are passing the output so all of the magic is because of the react xml viewer uh, library let me just quickly take a look at that npm landing page just to see how many uh, people are using it i can see 20000 people are using it that is fine it did our uh, did its job so that is acceptable there we have it an xml viewer sculpted through the synergy of react tailwind css and of course chat gpt's guidance it's always a marvel to witness the boundaries we can push with ai assisted development especially with the self evaluation capabilities of chat gpt vn if this journey resonated with you and you are eager to see more please hit that like button and consider subscribing your feedback is crucial to our growth and exploration so drop your thoughts and suggestions in the comments until our next coding stay curious and continue experimenting